Hi Kelly. Um, I just watched your video. That was probably the saddest story ever because even through how fuzzy the quality was, you'd see when your eyes like around and got red it, when you were about to start crying or started tearing up actually. And I don't know, it actually got me upset, you know, it got me thinking because my mom had cancer. Like, I live in Illinois right now where my hometown is, but I lived in Florida at one point when I was eight turning nine and my mom kind of noticed a little problem going on. She didn't think anything was wrong though, plus we lived in Key Largo where it's like nothing out there like it's the eight mile stretch to Dolphin Mall <laughs> and um there's hot no hospital besides like in Clearwater I think it is or um I can't think of the other part but whatever um if we would have moved back here to Illinois my hometown like she had rectal cancer and rectum is six inches and since we came back early enough, she lost two inches. If we would have came back later, she would have lost like a quarter of an inch more, which if, which would have made her have to live with a bag for the rest of her life. I would think that you know what that means. And um, going along with that, she probably wouldn't have made it. I mean, she's... She's six years cancer free, five or six, and I couldn't be prouder of her. <laughs> she's 51 now, doesn't look like it. A lot of my guy friends still think that she's hot. Um, but you can tell like on the inside, it, like with how I guess weak in some ways that she is, that aged her a lot, but I know my mom had the brighter ending and what happened to you with your uh, dad and I f like watching that video I actually got upset like I'm not even kidding because I always relate it back to what could have happened to me and I feel terrible for you because I'm sure your dad was very important to you like a lot of a lot of parents are to other kids and I don't know, I feel terrible for you and I hope that you get better. It, well, it sounds like you're sick, but feel better soon. And you have me and all of your other fans all around YouTube, maybe even MySpace, to support you and make you smile and happy Cody again that's always singing and really giddy and excited. That's the Cody that we all love to see. We don't like to see the sad side of you. Well, like, it just makes you more real, and that's like I. That's basically what makes us fans like heart you, because you're so real and genuine. But about your dad, I'm really, I'm terribly sorry. And I know I'm getting back to this video really late, but. I haven't been on YouTube, but anyways, um, and once I saw your video, I was like, I need to respond, but can you kind of see the relation in our stories? I hope so. It's, well, basically, all I want to say is you have me for support along with your friends, family, and everyone else on YouTube and MySpace. I'm sorry, Cody, and um, get back to me if you want to. Bye.